Let's not beat around the bush here. The main reason people get into trading is to make money, and there's nothing wrong with that. The way the world works isn't great either. A lot of us learn early on that your choices outside of education are very limited. To pave your way in the world and to afford the basic costs of living, most of us need to work, and that means a job. But the idea of a job is artificial, an exchange. You're giving away a fixed amount of your prime time, let's say 40 hours a week, just to make a wage. Most of us aren't fortunate enough to do a job that we enjoy 100% of the time. And so those 40 hours are mainly out of our control. We're doing something that someone else wants us to do just to make enough money to survive. Money fuels most of the world. What's free in life is oxygen and nature. Apart from that, everything else has a price tag. It makes sense that many people come to trading looking for an alternative to the rat race. Some way to make quick money so that they can afford the things they want to buy or just so they can buy freedom. More money equals more things, or more time. Both of these outcomes are seen as valuable to everyday people. The problem for most people is that they don't earn enough. It's okay to have dreams, but I see a lot of people who take their problem of not earning enough and then look at trading as a solution. In truth, trading is a completely different type of game. Most people set themselves up for failure by not understanding the rules of the game they want to participate in. Trading is a marathon, not a sprint. A marathon with a difference though, Whereas your job pays you a fixed sum of money every week or month, trading is an investment where your money makes more money and then that money earns even more money. Trading is also a job, but one with the potential to buy your freedom eventually. Trading is best compared to a marathon because it takes time for you to train and you need stamina to survive. It's not that difficult to learn the mindset of a marathon runner in trading. I call this mindset wealth empowerment and I believe that everybody should have access to this knowledge of how to succeed in trading so that more people have an alternative to just trading their life away for a wage, but we'll come back to that later. If you'd rather sprint with your money and favor short-term returns, big risks and entertainment, then gambling is a sport for you. I'm going to dig into the concept of the gambling sprint and hopefully I'll open your eyes to trading. In gambling, there is a small chance of being right, but the potential payout is large and that's what attracts people. Sure, you can turn a thousand pounds into a million pounds by gambling, but the chances are a million to one. You'd be delusional if you thought the chances were any greater. The most common form of gambling, betting, involves competing against betting companies where the market is one-sided because betting companies decide the payout of any bet that you place. For example, if I bet on a team winning, you best believe that a betting company calculates the exact chance of that team winning, but how? Well, they have access to all of the data and statistics available on the way that team have performed in the past. Because they know the probability of that team winning, to make their money, they price their profit into the payout. Imagine that you can bet on a coin flip. Now, they know that the odds are 50-50, but in this rare case, you also know that the odds are 50-50. At the odds of 50-50, it's only fair that if you bet £10 and you are right, you should also make £10, but risk losing your £10 if you are wrong. If you and a friend made this bet and your friend says, okay, but if I'm right, you pay me £10 and if you're right, I'll pay you £9, you wouldn't take the bet because it's not fair. Bookies, however, can't afford to be fair. They're running a business after all. They're more likely to pay you £8 if you're right and you pay them £10 if you are wrong because they've priced their profit into your payout. It all comes down to two things, probability and payout, and these two things can help us evaluate any type of investment. If your aim is to make more money and you've chosen investing as a way to make that money, unless you understand the probability and payout of your investment, then the odds are stacked against you. Let's take an example of a bank, one of the most commonly used methods of investment. Everyone knows that putting your money in a bank won't make you rich anytime soon, but this form of investment serves a purpose. Let's look at the probability and payout of a bank account. Let's say I put 10,000 pounds into my bank account the probability of my investment is 100%. In other words, there's no risk. Banks are pretty reliable, and in the UK, your savings are guaranteed up to 85,000 pounds. The payout, however, is very low. At this moment in time, banks pay an average of 1.7% of annual interest. 1.7% on 10,000 pounds is 170 pound for one year, barely enough to cover inflation. You can and should understand the probability and payout of every investment you make to determine if you are gambling or not. There's a very fine line between gambling and investing. Gamblers make bets without understanding the probability or payout. 
if they did understand, then they'd know the game is rigged and so it wouldn't be smart to take part. If you're trying to make any real money, that is. Intelligent investors understand the probability and payout of an investment and so they only put themselves in situations that are profitable in the long term. To better illustrate this point, let's go back to that coin toss. The odds of 50-50. If you place a bet on heads and the payout is 1 to 1, for every £1 that you risk, you are set to earn a pound if you win. We understand the probability and the payout. But what is the point of taking this bet? The probability and payout tells us that the result of this bet in the long term is likely to be break even. You won't lose money, but you won't win money either. It's not profitable to spend your time doing this. However, if you found yourself in a coin toss where the payout is 1 to 1.2, for every pound that you risk, you're set to make £1.20 if you're right, then the likely result in the long term is an overall profit. In this case, you'd surely want to take every bet you can get your hands on. That 20p extra you're set to make on a correct prediction is called your edge. It's your advantage in the game, the thing that stands to make you money in the long term. The difference between gambling and investing essentially is that intelligent investors understand the probability and the payout, determine what the likely result of the investment will be and then take a calculated risk. They also measure their profits over the long term. Let's talk about trading. Trading is another popular type of investment, but the majority of people seem to think that trading is a means to get rich in the short term. Let me bring your attention to a stat that I find amazing about trading. For every five people who make money consistently in trading, there are 95 people who lose money. 95% of traders lose money, and the main reason why is that they don't understand the rules of the game. Just because you know your way around a chart doesn't make you a trader. Just because you know technical analysis doesn't make you a trader. Just because you use signals doesn't make you a trader. Just because you buy Bitcoin doesn't make you a trader. The craziest thing about those 95% of people that lose money is that the game of trading isn't even rigged. Unlike gambling where the bookmaker determines the payout and knows the probability better than you, in trading, it is possible for the trader to determine the payout and the probability of a trade but only 5% of traders seem to be aware of this fact. You need to decide for yourself. Why do you want to trade? Which side of the fence are you on? Are you happy being a gambler or do you want to be an investor? Do you want to take one in 10 risks? One time out of 10, you can double your account, but nine times out of 10, you will wipe it out. Too many people are subscribing themselves to this way of thinking. But if you knew the probability and the payout of that gamble, would you still think this way? It's easy to be swayed by that one person in 10 who made a big return. Most of us have heard a story about someone who made big money in the markets. I heard a story the other day of someone who made £50,000 on a crypto buy, but I rarely hear stories of the other 9 people who lost their money. The intelligent investor mindset represents the 5% of traders who actually make money in the long term. What did they know that makes them so successful? I'll spend the last part of this video giving you some key insights. The first thing you must accept to become a member of the 5% is that trading is not a get-rich-quick scheme. You won't make a life-changing amount of money in a short time frame without taking an unacceptable amount of risk. You might not make money every day, every week, or even every month, because trading is unpredictable. You might not make money regularly enough to take it out and spend it. Trading is a long-term game. You aim to make money every year. You make decisions like a business and not a consumer. A return of 20 to 40% per year is an acceptable return for a trader. Compare that to the 1.7% the bank pays. There is also an opportunity to manage other people's money. When you combine those acceptable returns with compound interest, you now have a return with the potential to change your life and the lives of those around you. Let's talk about how the 5% view probability and payout. All 5%ers understand the probability and payout of a trade before they place it. Trading is an open playing field, an open market. There are only two directions that a market can move, up, or down so it's just buyers versus sellers and you have the freedom to pick either side at any time. As you've seen gambling is a fixed market and not fixed in the favour of the gambler but fixed in the favour of the bookmaker. 5%ers understand that they have the opportunity to fix the market in their favour and it's actually quite simple. To fix the market they find their edge which is their advantage. I mentioned earlier that in our coin flip situation when earning a payout of £1.20 for every pound we risk that extra 20p is the edge, that's the advantage. 5%ers find the equivalent to that 20p in trading and that's how they make their money over the long term. I'm here to tell you that there are no special requirements for becoming a member of the 5% who make money. The only difference between a 5%er 
and a 95 percenter is their mindset, which we'll come back to towards the end. Both groups have the same tools and techniques, the same brokers, the same funds, the same access to knowledge, the same brain power. As I mentioned, the big part of the mindset of a 5 percenter is that they understand the probability and payout of every trade they take. A 5 percenter can give you figures for both. To calculate the probability of a trade, they test their trading strategies against historical data to determine if their strategy has an edge or not. To determine the payout, they are very strict about the amount of risk they take on board in order to achieve a profitable payout. In the coin flip example, the probability of a bet winning is 50%, so earning £1.20 for every pound risk is a profitable payout. 5 percenters think about profitable situations over hundreds or thousands of trades. Securing an advantage on every individual trade leads to a healthy profit over time. Sure, 50% of the trades will lose, but the 50% of the trades that win will more than cover those losses. Gamblers, otherwise known as the 95 percenters, think about the coin toss in a different light and even though they play the same game as the 5 percenter, they lose their money instead. They think about the return potential of one bet, which sounds something like this. I can make £1.20 for just a £1 bet, so if I bet my full £1,000, when I win, I'll make £1,200 in profit. They're being dangerously optimistic. They forget about the fact that losing would mean wiping out their full account, ending their career before it even started. For gamblers especially, winning is more dangerous than losing. Winning leads to a false sense of confidence and the feeling of walking on water. Before you know it, they've made the 95% list again. The main takeaway from this video is that what makes traders win is the exact same thing that makes traders lose, their mindset. I strongly believe that mindset is something that can be taught and I have a free video series coming out to prove this. I call this way of thinking the wealth empowerment mindset. You can probably find my video series in the playlist section of this channel. Be sure to check it out and we'll begin this journey of turning you into a 5 percenter. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you very soon.